Former local fire chief accused of cheating the system. Now, New Bedford's mayor says the city fired former acting chief Paul Kader Jr. following an internal investigation. The mayor says their findings led them to believe Kader was lying about the extent of his work related injuries. The city says they have proof of this in the form of surveillance video recorded by the personnel office. The mayor's office says one clip shows Kader unloading a 176 pound grill from his personal pickup truck. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo takes us through the city's investigation and just how much taxpayers paid Kader to stay home. Sheena? Well, he was out for about 16 months, and in that 16 months, Kader was out of work. The city says he was paid more than $200,000, plus he wasn't taxed on that because he was out on injury leave. Paul Coderre is being accused by his employer of putting on an act. This is video sent to us from the city of New Bedford. Mayor John Mitchell says the city's personnel office captured the former acting fire chief doing things that allegedly don't match up with the injuries Coderre says he has. Those injuries, which aren't disclosed right now, according to the city, put Coderre out of work and placed on injury leave since August 2020. And based on state law, Coderre received full pay during the 16 months he was out, the former chief was terminated Tuesday. High heat and heavy smoke. Bill tells us the investigation by the city started in the summer, leading to this surveillance video, which Mitchell says ultimately brought the city to the conclusion Coderre was being, quote, untruthful. The city also tells us in December, Coderre applied for an accidental disability pension. He's also applied for retirement. 12 News tried to reach Coderre at his home Tuesday night, but no one came to the door. We're with Channel 12, just hoping to get your side of the story. Mitchell is calling the alleged actions, quote, disrespectful to taxpayers, also saying it discredits the fire department. Now, Mayor Mitchell tells us the city held a hearing to discipline Coderre, but both Coderre and his attorney declined to come. We're live in New Bedford. I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.